I've had this blank in my shop for a very long time. This is a stabilized corn cob. It was sent to me by Mark Phelps, and today we're gonna to turn it for a Sierra kit. We're gonna hedge our bets and use the larger end of the corn cob. So I'll just get some kind of a mark on here. And I'm gonna head over to the bandsaw and we're gonna cut this end off of the blank. This blank might be a little tough to drill on my drill press, so we're going to use our center find. And it's gonna get kind of crazy, but I'm gonna to try to find the center of this blank as best as I can. Measure from a couple areas or a couple sides. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now let's get the bottom. It's hard to do this because obviously this blank is not truly round, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it between centers. It's not too bad. We'll mark both of those holes with our punch. I'll put this between centers on the lathe. We'll true it up and then we'll drill down the center on our lathe. Mark did a fantastic job stabilizing this corn cob blank because it is hard as a rock. If I didn't know any better, looking at the ends, I would say it was a chunk of wood. Let's see how we do truing it up. That turned rather nicely. It is true enough to where I can grip it in my pin jaws and drill right down the center. This ought to make a really interesting looking blank. Uh, we're gonna do a 27 64 inch hole because as I mentioned before, this will be for a Sierra. She turns nice and true. I've slowed the lathe down to about 850 RPMs and we're ready to drill. Loosen our chuck up and take a look at our blank. Nice entry hole, nice exit hole. We're ready to glue a tube in this one. I'm working on several pins all at the same time. So I went ahead and did a mass glue up to save a little bit of time. I did not record the glue up process, but you are looking at the aftermath. All of these tubes have been glued into these blanks with epoxy and they need to set a minimum of 24 hours and we'll start turning pins on the next trip to the shop. Got my corn cob blank chucked up. I'm hoping for a win on this one. I've had a little bit of trouble with the last two pins I've turned. Uh, we're gonna go with a skew on this one. I just got done stropping it. And uh, keep your fingers crossed, we have a nice turn. All in all, I think we did pretty good with the turning. Blank looks great, held together really nicely. I'm gonna get my sanding discs out and uh, let's sand it up. Let's wipe the blank down with a little denatured alcohol going to kind of give you a sneak peek at what it's going to look like. It's going to be really nice. I'm going to let that flash off and then we'll apply some CA. First coat going on. Take a look at that. That is going to make a beautiful pin. CA finish is complete. 
I just need to get the uh, nonstick bushings off and square the ends. Blank is looking awesome. I used a new set of micro mesh pads. It really polished that blank up. I'm gonna get a little wax on here. And then we'll hit it on the buffing wheels and we'll be ready for assembly. I found a nice Gatsby chrome and gunmetal kit to uh, assemble this blank onto. Let's decide what we want to do here. I'm thinking I like this part as the nib part and this part as the cap part. I think I'll put the clip down the darker side so you see all of these little, um, I don't know what you call them on a corn cob. Somebody who knows a little more about that than me should uh, put that in the comments, what those are called. But uh, let's go ahead and put one of our bushings in the back. And what I'm gonna do is, I don't wanna damage these threads, so I'm gonna go ahead and thread the nib onto this front grommet. And we'll just press this whole thing in at once. Okay, perfect. We have got a nice fit there. That's going to look really nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let me remember a little bit about these Gatsby's. Um, let's see. Been a while since I assembled one of these. Okay, I think this just goes in next. And then I believe the transmission threads into heat. Yep, that's how it works. Been a while since I put one of these things together. I think that's perfect right there. All right, now press her in. Well, that looks nice. Um, we'll drop our ink refill in with the spring. Put the transmission in. That just threads into the back here. Oh yeah, nice. Nice extension, nice retraction. And then the cap just snaps onto the transmission. And we have a gorgeous pin. Take a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Let me see if I can get some more light on that for you. Wow. I love the blank. Absolutely stunning. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you love this blank as much as I do. Isn't that beautiful? Stabilized corn cob, stabilized and sent to me by Mark Phelps several years ago. It's been up in the loft. I dug it out and made an incredible pin out of it. It's a Gatsby pin, gunmetal and chrome, and I couldn't be happier. This is just absolutely gorgeous, and the fit is flawless. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon, and have a great evening.